Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video has been a highly, highly requested video here on my channel. I recently did an unboxing with eBay and I received a ton of questions in that video on how I go about uh, buying pre-loved, like what I do, what I look for, and things like that. So in today's video, I wanted to share with y'all five different tips that I recommend you look for when you're buying pre-loved luxury, whether it's a handbag, shoes, jewelry, whatever it is. These are my five tips on what I feel like is a major must and something you have to look for in the luxury, pre-loved luxury space specifically. I did partner up with eBay for this video and I do also have a luxury unboxing at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that, but let's go ahead and get started. Tip number one is to read and make sure that they actually have reviews available on their page. And I'm not talking like general quotes from people that are in just random spots for throughout their website. I'm talking an actual review section that you can see people that are verified purchasers from that particular seller or website. I also think that it's important that these websites and these sellers leave the good, the bad, and the ugly as far as reviews. Here's the thing. I don't think any of us are expecting a 100% like five-star rating. I don't think that's realistic. You just never know the circumstances on where, how something could happen. People make mistakes. It is life. But I think being able to see not only the good, not only the bad, and being able to make your opinion is so important. So look for the reviews right, right away and make sure that they are available all the different stars, one star all the way to five star, and read through them, go through them. I personally like to go through the one stars first and see if people are just complaining to complain or if they're just putting a one star and not putting a note, things like that, and then I work my way up. And then I always like to go through and just see if there are people that talk about customer service, if there are people that had um, to do an exchange or return, and you can kind of see how those experiences went as well. But I think reading the reviews, and if they have the reviews just in general, is so important. Tip number two is that they actually have a return policy. Here's the thing. None of us buy a pre-loved item with the thought of wanting to return it, but you just never know. A lot of these pieces you're not able to see in person because they're vintage or they're discontinued and they've been discontinued for many, many years. So maybe you've never seen them. Maybe the size doesn't work right or, or whatever it is. I think sometimes, a lot of times you'll get something in person and it's not everything that you expected. And that has nothing to do with the seller. That has nothing to do with that website. It just has to to do that it didn't work out for you. Like I said, the size could be wrong, the wear and tear could be a little bit more than you were expecting. Whatever the reasons are, having a return policy, in my opinion, just tells you that they stand by their product, they stand by what they're selling, and I feel like that makes the relationship two-sided. It's not a one-sided relationship where I'm buying from you and I don't have the option to return it or exchange it if I want to, if I change my mind. Again, Whatever your reasonings are, I just think having a return policy is so important. The third tip that I have should honestly be number one, and it should not even have to be a tip because it should be a given, but they should off offer a 100% authenticity guaranteed. So if you were to purchase the item and take it somewhere to be authentic, authenticated or even submit pictures to an authenticator, whatever it is, you should be able to have that option to have it authenticated on your own. Um, and then for some reason, if you find out that it is not, then they've got that guaranteed covered. I think obviously an, an authenticity guaranteed it should be 100% given. It shouldn't technically be on this list because that should be every single place that offers pre-loved, but I just think it's like a no-brainer. 100% hands down, this is a no-brainer. Tip number four is you should actually be able to communicate with the website or the seller of these items. To me, that is like a no brainer. If you don't have a way to ask more questions, request additional photos, whatever it is, that is like a red flag to me. You should be able to ask as many additional questions as you'd like, request additional photos if you'd like, and get a response back in a timely manner. If you don't see a way to communicate with, with them, that is a red flag. Tip number five is something that I see all over social media and I think it's a huge, huge issue and it has to do with 
photos. So one, there should be a ton of different photos of the inside, the outside. If in the description they talk about any sort of marks or wear and tear or stains or anything, there should be close-ups of that photo. But here is the kicker, y'all. They should only be sharing photos of the actual item that you would be purchasing. When I look at a reseller and they are listing photos of other bloggers or YouTubers, influencers, whatever, carrying the bag that they're supposedly selling, it makes me question whether all of the photos that they are sh using and sharing and using to sell this particular item if they're all fake or not. Maybe they grab them from Google. Maybe they think it's a stock photo, whatever it is. Do you know how many times my photo has been stolen to be used on Instagram for these resellers on Instagram? I don't personally agree with that. I get DMs all the time of Facebook groups, Facebook pages using my photo to sell their Neverfull or Speedy or whatever it is. And here's the thing, I'm not saying that all of them are, you know, maybe fake bags, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But the fact of the matter is, is if one photo isn't their photo, then how do you know that any of them are? So in my opinion, there should be a ton of different photos and they should all be of the actual item you are purchasing. So those are my five tips for buying pre-loved luxury. And one of the things that I love about the luxury section on eBay is you don't have to worry about any of the, these things. Section that I'm gonna share with you guys down below, these sellers are the cream of the crop. They're best of the best sellers in the luxury platform on eBay. They have handpicked these specific sellers to say, like we have hand selected these so that you know that you're gonna get a quality product, that you're actually buying from a seller that knows what they're doing, authenticity guaranteed, a ton of photos, all the photos belong to that particular seller for that particular item you know, return policy, all of the above. Everything that I talked about, eBay offers that. I'm gonna put links down below for you guys if you wanna check out some of the different selections that eBay has. They have a ton of different products. The bag that I'm about to share with y'all came from this link. I have wanted this handbag in my collection for so long. It is brand new, y'all. I already have a little wish list of a few other bags that I would really, really wanna get from eBay. Like I said, I'll link those all below, but let me go and grab this box down here so I can unbox this bag for you. I cannot wait to style it and share it. And it's, it's a good one. Hold on, let me grab it. So this is my second handbag from eBay and both handbags have also been packaged literally perfectly. So obviously I opened this one, I've had this one for just a little while, guys. I had to take a little sneak peek because I was so excited about it. This particular bag, like I said, it is brand new. It does come with the dust bag. This is the dust bag right here. I did leave most of the wrapping on the bag just so you could see how nicely packed it was. Um, it is so nicely packed. Look at this beauty. So you can see a couple of things. One, how beautifully wrapped it is. They really, really took the time to make sure that it was going to arrive to me you know, safely and, and with no damage. But second, you can also see this tag right here. So this is what your return policy is. The second you remove this tag, that is whenever it, you can no longer exchange it or return it. So obviously, I'm gonna snip this off. The bag is gorgeous, I love it. You can see the bag that I picked and it is the Celine belt bag. I believe this is the size small and it is in this gorgeous taupe color. I have had this bag on my wish list for so long, y'all. Let me go ahead and take off some of this packaging so you can really, really see the beauty in this piece. I wanna say it was like a 40 to 50% saving from retail, so definitely, definitely, like I said, check out the links below. But look at the interior. I think it's the perfect size bag. There is a zipper pouch here in the back. That's gonna be perfect for your phone. There's just a lot of versatility in this bag. You've got the top handle, but then you've got this strap here that you can wear on your shoulder or you can wear crossbody. Like I said, I just feel like this is gonna work perfectly in my current collection. Make sure to check out the links down below to get to the specific luxury section of eBay that I'm referring to. They do have it separated out, so you do have to go to those specific links to 
basically not have to worry about the luxury section. You're gonna get all of the things that I referred to in this video. You don't have to worry about authenticity. You've got the return policy, you've got reviews, tons of photos, all of the above. Like I said, everything that I talked about in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun putting it together and I really do love eBay and I'm so grateful to be an eBay partner. If you are new to my channel, my name is Amanda. It is so nice to meet you. I hope you decide to stick around for more fashion and luxury videos. Make sure to hit that subscribe button that notification button and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Say bye. Bye. Bye everybody. <laughs>